I had a friend ask me today how to set up SSF, a Saturn emulator. They said they tried everything. They couldn't get it set up. So I'm going to do a real quick under 10 minute tutorial on getting SSF, a Saturn emulator up and running with the game. But uh, the first thing you want to do is, is install Daemon Tools, which is going to be your, which, hey, how you image your disk for for SSF. So day Daemon Tools Lite. You can purchase purchase the license, but I just only use the free one with ads. We'll download into my downloads. Okay, let's install. Free license with ads. Well, it'll take a few seconds to download. Now click install. Now it's going to ask you to add a few programs. Click no. You don't want this junk. They're wanting you to add along with the installation. So this Pluto TV install web bar that just looks like a virus. Install the program. Okay, so we have that done. Okay, and the next thing we need to do is down download an emulator. So I'm going to go to the emulator zone, which you can see the web address is at the top of the page there. Click on Sega Saturn. I like SSF the best. And click on it and download it into your downloads folder. I've already downloaded it. Rehearsing this video. Okay, we got that done. Now we need to download a game and uh, mount the image. So we're going to go, we're going to get Pacific the Pacific. A great place for games is Emmy Paradise. They have about every game out there for all the older systems, even the P PlayStation 2. But we're going to go to ROMs, ISO, and games. Well, let's better yet, let's search Emmy Paradise. PTO2. This is the game we want. Now we shall download it. Let's download it in my downloads. It's going to take a minute or two to download. As you can see down here, got about two minutes left. And there's my blog. I have fun writing that blog. It's a lot of fun for me. It's a good pastime, good hobby, I call it. Let's see how cold it is right now. We're waiting on the file to download. That's why I'm doing all this other stuff. It's about halfway through. 67 degrees outside. Doesn't that sound so nice? It's uh, We've got uh, showers moving in as well. Let's see the radar image. Yep. Yeah. We might get some showers tonight. I live right there with the mount where the mouse pointer's pointing. Right there on the river. Chattahoochee River on the Georgia Alabama state line. Okay, the game's almost downloaded.
Okay, now we're going to set up SSF to play a game. Okay, you want to extract the Saturn game. Extract. It should only take a second with a fast computer. Okay, you go to SSF Beta Release 4. And you click on... Well, let's, let's first, let's mount the game image. PTO to mount. So we have it, our image mounted with Daemon Tools Lite. Okay, we're going to go to going to Click on SSF and it's going to ask you if it may be a harmful program it's not. Just click no. Now we're starting up for the first time. We're going to have to configure SSF to run. Okay, I like to get the window size larger. Do that with option. And we're going to go option. We need a BIOS. You can download a Sega Saturn BIOS by just searching in the browser. But uh, I've got some already downloaded. I'm going to open that. STV BIOS, you don't need to worry with that. CD drive, this is very important. It must be set to disk soft virtual. Not your actual CD-ROM drive. And then uh, you want to the area code which is America, Canada, and Brazil. And I'll go over here to easy setting and set full compatibility if you have a pretty fast computer. And click OK. Okay, let's cl close that and start out, start over again. Let's see if we can't play a game. I love that sound. This is one of my favorite games, Pacific Theater of Operations 2. Playing a game. So that's how you set up the Sega game. Run the SSF and uh, and uh, on December first, nineteen forty-one. Well, that's how you the set up the game. I'll get this decide to open the up on the web in a second on December eighth. Despite the efforts of Japan's ambassadors, the negotiations.